running a business? It all comes down to building strong customer relationships. But staying on top of every client interaction can be tricky, and that's where a good CRM comes in handy. Today, we're looking at two useful platforms, HubSpot and Pipedrive. We've spent time with both, and after testing them out again recently, we're here to break down what each one offers and help you decide which might be the perfect fit for your team. Let's dive in. Let's start with how both platforms feel to use. Pipedrive is user-friendly, and its primary focus is on helping sales teams manage their pipelines visually. You're greeted with a clean interface that centers on a Kanban-style board, which makes it easy to drag and drop deals between stages of your sales process. This visual approach simplifies understanding where each deal stands, even at a glance. If you're managing multiple contacts or need to follow up on leads, Pipedrive keeps everything organized without feeling overwhelming. It's ideal for businesses where the sales process is the main focus and you don't want to spend too much time getting lost in complex tools. HubSpot, on the other hand, offers a broader interface that covers not just sales, but marketing, service, and content management. The interface here is more comprehensive, designed to cater to a wider array of tasks across various departments. It takes a bit more time to get familiar with, especially if you're only looking to manage sales, but it's excellent for businesses that want an all-in-one solution. The CRM feature is deeply integrated into the larger platform, so your sales team can easily collaborate with marketing, customer service, and operations. For example, your sales reps can immediately see how marketing campaigns are performing, which can help guide their next moves. While the interface isn't as simple as Pipedrive, it's incredibly powerful once you get used to it. In essence, Pipedrive feels more focused, which helps sales teams see their tasks at a glance, while HubSpot offers broader functionality that might appeal more to businesses needing more than just sales management. When it comes to features and benefits, both platforms come with advanced functionalities. Let's compare them in step-by-step -step process. One of the core elements of both Pipedrive and HubSpot is how they manage leads and pipelines, but they approach it in different ways. In Pipedrive, the focus is entirely on managing your sales pipeline efficiently. The system revolves around visual pipeline stages, where leads are moved through a Kanban-style board. This setup makes it incredibly easy for sales teams to see where each deal is in the process and which steps need to be taken next. You can set up multiple pipelines if you're managing different types of deals or products which is especially useful if you're handling a variety of sales channels or products. For example, if you're a real estate agent working with buyers and sellers, you can have one pipeline for buyer leads and another for seller leads, and seamlessly manage them side by side. In contrast, HubSpot comes with pipeline management that integrates into its broader CRM system. You can track deals, but it also connects flawlessly with marketing, customer service, and content management tools. If your team frequently relies on inbound leads generated from email campaigns or social media, HubSpot's ability to capture those leads and automatically integrate them into the pipeline offers a huge advantage. For instance, a marketing campaign you run in HubSpot can feed leads directly into the sales pipeline, which allows your team to follow up quickly without having to manually enter new contacts. All right, automation is another key area where these two platforms differ significantly. Pipedrive provides automation through its workflows and allows you to automate repetitive tasks like sending follow-up emails or updating the status of a deal when specific conditions are met. For instance, if a lead moves to the negotiation phase, Pipedrive can automatically schedule a follow-up task or send a personalized email without you needing to intervene. This saves time and ensures that nothing slips through the cracks, especially when you're dealing with a large number of leads. The automation is relatively easy but advanced enough for small and medium-sized sales teams. HubSpot, on the other hand, takes automation to a better way with its highly customizable workflows. HubSpot's automation isn't limited to sales. It covers marketing, customer service, and even operational tasks. For instance, in HubSpot, you can set up complex workflows that involve sending drip email campaigns, notifying sales reps when a lead performs certain actions like clicking on an email. You can also assign new leads to specific team members based on geographic location or company size. If you're running an inbound marketing campaign, 
You can set up workflows that nurture leads over time, automatically moving them through the sales funnel based on how they interact with your content. Both Pipedrive and HubSpot offer excellent email integration features, but there are some important differences in how they handle communication. Pipedrive gives full email sync and allows you to track emails with leads directly within the CRM. You can also use pre-designed templates to send emails to prospects at different stages of the sales process, which helps you save time while ensuring your communication remains professional and consistent. For example, if you're a small sales team sending out a lot of follow-up emails each week, Pipedrive allows you to track open rates and set reminders to follow up if there's no response. This integration ensures that every touchpoint with a client is recorded, helping you build stronger relationships over time. HubSpot, however, takes email integration a step further by offering more advanced marketing tools. Not only can you sync emails, but HubSpot also allows you to create sophisticated email marketing campaigns. For instance, if you're running a campaign to nurture leads over several months, you can set up sequences that automatically send personalized emails based on where the lead is in the funnel. It's a useful tool for companies that rely on email marketing as part of their broader sales strategy. Additionally, HubSpot offers email health reporting, which provides insights into deliverability, bounce rates, and how your campaigns are performing in real time. Sales teams need reliable reporting to keep track of performance, and both Pipedrive and HubSpot offer tools for this. However, their approaches are quite different. Pipedrive focuses primarily on sales analytics. Its reporting tools are designed to help sales managers track progress, analyze team performance, and forecast future sales. For example, Pipedrive offers a clean visual dashboard that gives you insights into your pipeline, deals won and lost, and individual team member performance. You can also set goals for your team, such as closing a certain number of deals in a quarter, and track those goals in real time. This feature is perfect for small to mid-sized sales teams who need clear, actionable insights to drive performance without diving into overly complex analytics. In contrast, HubSpot has a much deeper reporting, especially when it comes to marketing, customer service, and overall business performance. In HubSpot, you can create customizable dashboards that pull data from multiple sources, sales, marketing campaigns, customer service tickets, and more. For example, if you're running a marketing campaign, you can track exactly how much revenue it generated by tying it back to sales data. You can also dive into detailed metrics like website traffic, lead conversion rates, and even customer satisfaction scores. This makes HubSpot a powerful option for businesses that want a unified view of all their departments, not just sales. When it comes to integrations, both platforms offer a wide variety of options, but HubSpot stands out with its broader range of tools. Pipedrive offers over 500 integrations, including tools like Slack, MailChimp, and Trello. These integrations allow you to expand Pipedrive's functionality by connecting it with other tools that your team might already be using. For example, you can integrate Slack to get notifications when deals are moved through the pipeline or connect with MailChimp for email marketing. Pipedrive also offers specific add-ons like Lead Booster for generating leads, Smart Docs for document management, and Web Visitors for tracking companies visiting your website. Each of these can be purchased as an add-on to expand your CRM's capabilities. HubSpot, on the other hand, has over 800 integrations and provides native support for tools across all departments, including marketing, customer service, and operations. Whether it's connecting to Salesforce, integrating with Google Ads, or using Shopify for e-commerce, HubSpot is built to integrate with almost every major platform. For instance, if you're running an e-commerce store and want to integrate sales data with your CRM, HubSpot allows you to track purchases and engage customers based on their buying history. Customer support is an essential factor and both Pipedrive and HubSpot have strong options, but again, they cater to slightly different needs. Pipedrive offers 24-7 live chat support on all plans, including a professional onboarding service for users on higher tier plans. If you're a small business and need hands-on support as you set up your CRM, Pipedrive provides personalized onboarding services to help you get started smoothly. Pipedrive's Help Center also includes a rich knowledge base, webinars, 
and training resources that guide users through specific features and best practices. HubSpot goes even further in this area. In addition to 24-7 support via email, chat, and phone, HubSpot also has an extensive knowledge base, but the standout feature is the HubSpot Academy. The Academy offers free courses and certifications that cover everything from basic CRM use to advanced marketing strategies. Whether you're new to the platform or looking to dive into more complex features, HubSpot Academy provides educational resources that can help you and your team get the most out of the platform. This level of ongoing support and training can be a major benefit for companies looking to invest in long-term growth through their CRM. When it comes to pricing, the difference between Pipedrive and HubSpot becomes clear, especially for businesses on a budget. Pipedrive offers a more straightforward pricing structure, starting at $14 per user per month for its essential plan. The most popular plan is $49 per user per month, which includes additional features like workflow automations, meeting scheduling, and more detailed reporting. It's a good balance of features and affordability, especially for small to mid-sized businesses that want to focus on sales without paying for marketing and other functions they might not need. HubSpot, on the other hand, offers a free CRM plan, which can be appealing to businesses just starting out. However, the costs can escalate quickly as you begin to add more features. The Sales Hub, which offers the CRM, starts at $15 per month for the starter plan, but more advanced features like automation and detailed reporting are only available on the professional plan, which starts at $1,170 per month. HubSpot's pricing can feel steep compared to Pipedrive, especially if you're only looking for basic CRM functionality. But if you need an all-in-one tool that covers marketing, sales, and service, HubSpot's features might justify the higher cost. In the end, choosing between Pipedrive and HubSpot depends on what your business needs most. Both platforms are excellent in their own right, but they cater to different needs. If your focus is purely on managing your sales pipeline with an easy-to-use tool, Pipedrive should be your pick. If you need a fully featured system that can manage everything from marketing to customer service, HubSpot is the way to go. Let us know if you have any further questions or would like to share your thoughts in the comments below.